This is our Wheatley 0206. It's time for another comic book artist spotlight video. And this is episode number 18. And tonight we're going to talk about Tony S. Daniel. Um, I, you know, it's funny. I, I'd done a lot of research on him and I couldn't really find a whole lot of information. In fact, I never even found out when his birthday was. I do remember seeing something somewhere that said he was born in, I think, 1976, but it didn't give um, the actual date, just the year. So, so anyway, um, tonight we're going to talk about Tony Daniel. And I have, it, it's been a crazy week, so I have been pushing to get this thing done tonight so that I can put it up tomorrow. It's Tuesday night. It's about uh, 9.30 right now. So um, I'm uh, struggling to get this all put together. I did pull a few books. I know I've got more books, but digging them out right now. There's one in particular book I wanted to get out and I can't find it. So <laughs> I haven't went through the right box yet. Anyway, Let's talk about Tony Daniel. Uh, his full name is Antonio Salvador Daniel. Uh, he is an American. And he goes by Tony Daniel or Tony S. Daniel. He's an American comic book writer and artist. So he's done both artwork and... Uh, he's done covers, artwork, uh, interior artwork, and... Uh, story writing for Batman that I know of and probably several others so let's go on with this he is known for his work on various books for DC Comics including Teen Titans Flash the fastest man alive and the Batman the different companies that he has done work for Dark Horse DC Image and Marvel Let's see, Daniels worked on various titles with Image Comics, including his own creation, The Tenth. I don't know that I've ever seen that, but uh, it's not familiar to me. But He also worked on a title for Marvel Comics, on titles for Marvel Comics. He gained status at DC Comics with his run on Teen Titans with writer uh, Jeff Johns. He finished out the short-lived Flash, The Fastest Man Alive series with Mark Guggenheim from issues 11 through 13, which ended with Bart Allen's death. From there, Daniels began his work uh, for the main Batman title with writer Grant Morrison. Beginning his run with issue 670, this issue began the resurrection of Ra uh, Ra's al Ghul. And he and Morrison collaborated on the Batman Rest in Peace storyline during that time. After Rest in Peace, Daniel wrote and illustrated Battle for the Cowl, the main miniseries dealing with the story's aftermath. And I'm not sure that, I don't know that I have any of that. That, that. That's one of the many series I'd like to collect, and I don't think I have any of those. In 2009, after Judd Winnick and Mark Bagley's four-issue run of, on Batman, Tony Daniels took over for a six-issue arc handling both writing and art duties. Daniel worked with Grant Morrison again on issues 701 through 702, he returned as writer and artist, starting with issue 704 in November of 2010, with his arc on Batman coming to an end at issue 712. Shortly after, Daniel was uh, announced as the writer and artist for the relaunching Detective Comics, which was dubbed DC's flagship series. In addition, he was announced as the writer of DC's The Savage Hawkman series, which he would stay on until the eighth issue. 
Daniel stayed on Detective Comics until the 12th issue, by which time he drew an annual for the series as well. In July 2012, as part of the San Diego Comic-Con, Daniel was one of the six artists who, along with DC co-publishers Jim Lee and Dan Dito, or Ditto, however it's pronounced, uh, par participated in the production of Heroic Proportions, an episode of the sci-fi reality TV co competition series Face Off, in which special effects were tasked to create a new superhero. With Daniel and the other DC artists on hand to help them develop their ideas. The winning entries, uh, the winning entries character, Infernal Core, by Anthony Kozar, was featured in Justice League Dark number 16 in March of 2013 which was published January 30th of 2013. The episode premiered on January 22nd of 2013 as the second episode of the four seasons. Daniel was announced as the artist for a two-issue stint on the second volume of Justice League. He was subsequently announced as the primary artist accompanying Andy Dig Diggle and on Action Comics, following Grant Morrison's departure. However, after Diggle left the title after only issue number 19, Diggle was co-writer for 20 and co-plot issue 21. Daniel took on the scripting and art duties for the two following issues, completing the three-part story, Hybrid, after which he too announced he would depart the series to work on a massive project for DC. The project was then announced in June 2013 to be Superman Wonder Woman with Daniel on as the artist. After working with Charles Soule on Superman Wonder Woman, Daniel again returned to, writing, to, to his writing duties. Penciling and scripting the relaunch of Deathstroke title, it sold out and headed off to second printing. So, the, um, something they didn't mention here, and hopefully it does show up. Um, the DC Damaged series, uh, I believe that Tony Daniel was one of the co-creators of that character. So I don't know, I'm gonna give you a list of books that he has worked on in the past. We'll start out with Dark Horse Comics. He worked on Adrenaline, Weapon of War, number one through four. Uh, Silky, mini miniseries, number one through four. That was in 2001, both of those were in 2001. And the 10th, uh, resurrected number one through four, which was also in 2001, and that was his own creation. So for DC, he worked on Batman 670 6 through 674, 676 through 681, 700 through 702, um, as the artist for those, and then 692 through 697, and 704 through 707 as the writer and artist. 698 and 699, 710 and 712 as the writer, and that was between the time uh, the periods of 2007 and 2011. Batman Battle for the Cowl miniseries number one through three in 2009. Countdown presents the search for Ray Palmer, Crime Society one shot that cover or he done the cover for that in 2007. DC Universe number zero, three-page interiors that preludes, preludes the Batman rest in peace. Flash, the fastest man alive, number 11 through 13. Nightwing, number 138, he did the cover on. Teen Titans, volume three, 
Numbers 26, 29 through 31, 34 through 37, 39 through 40, 43 through 44. And he did the covers for 26, 29 through 46, and number 48. Detective Comics Volume 2, number 0 through 12, and Annual Number 1, also was the writer as well as the artist. The Savage Hawkman, number 1 through 8, as the writer. Justice League Volume 2, number 13 and 14. Uh, he was, um, well, it doesn't say whether he, whether he was the writer or the artist. That was in 2013. Action Comics, Volume 2, number 19. Uh, he did the art and number 20, or yeah, issue 20 through 21. He was the writer and the artist. Superman, Wonder Woman, uh, number 1 through 6 and number 8. He did the art and the covers. Number 10 and 12, he did the covers. And that was in 2013, 2014. Deathstroke, Volume 3, number 1 through 8, Writer and Artist. Number 9 through 13, Writer, and that was in 2014, 2016. And then Image Comics, he did, and I'll, I'll just, I know this is taking a little bit of time, so <laughs> I will just kind of go through these. F5 Miniseries, 1 through 4, Humankind, number 1 through 5, uh, Shattered Image, 1 through 4, Spawn, number 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, and 48. Uh, Spawn, Blood Feud, 1 through 4. Tales of the Witchblade, number 1. The Tenth, 1 through 14. Uh, let's see, The Tenth Configuration, source that's a source book. The Tenth, Abuse of Humanity, number one through four. The tenth, number zero. <laughs> the tenth, number one half. <laughs> I know Image and what was the other company? Um, <laughs> Top Cow. Top Cow and Image used to both do that. They do, you know, number zero, number one half, you know. Um, I know my wife has a lot of Tomb Raider comics that are set up that way. The Tenth Special Collection is one half and zero. The Tenth Blackout Trade Paperback. The Tenth Black Embrace, number one through four. The Tenth Dark Dawn, number one. The Tenth Evil's Child, number one through four. The Tenth Nightwalker, number one through four. Oh, Tomb Raider, number 35 and 36. And I'm pretty sure my wife has those, so <laughs> I could have pulled those out. Witchblade 9, uh, 78 and 79. And I think that may be it. Oh, no it ain't. <laughs> X-Force Annual number 2. X-Force number 28. 30 through 36 and 38 through 43. And Gambit or Gambit and the X-Terminal, or X-Ternals. <laughs> Gambit and the X-Ternals, okay? <laughs> one, number one and two. So that's a lot of the work that he's done in the past. Now I'm gonna show you a couple of books. I've got three or four. Now, like I said, mostly what I have is Batman books that Tony Daniels did. And I couldn't really find the other books that I was looking for, because I have several other Batman books even that he's done. And I have a few Marvel books that he done. I really wanted to show a couple of Marvel books, but I just ran out of time. So anyway, we'll go with this. This is Batman number 46, which is volume three, number 46. This is a pretty popular cover that he did. Oh, and I don't know if you can see it or not. Let me see if I can get up here. Sorry about the glare. See if we can get it to focus on his signature. I don't know if you can make that out or not. But that is his signature in the little box there. This is Batman number 63. Oh, 
So sorry about the light, guys. Here, let me back up here. There, that's better. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> okay. That's number 63. And this one's a really neat cover. Batman number 702. This is one of the Rest in Peace books. He has kind of a unique way of drawing Batman's face. And it's interesting the way he puts the, uh, you know, the protruding veins and stuff in Batman's arms and things like that. But the way he draws his head and, and you know, because usually you see Batman with a really square jaw and, and this one, he kind his face kind of sinks in at the bottom. This one is a fairly recent book. This is Batman 75. One of the uh, City of Bane books, which Tony Daniels has done many of the A covers for that run. This one is, and, and I just showed you this one a couple days ago. Uh, this is Batman 79. Very cool Catwoman cover. And there you have it. So, who are we going to do next week? <laughs> um... Oh, by the way, I do want to, I'm hoping within the next couple of days, I can get a video up for the, uh, for my, uh, contest for naming my channel. So hopefully I'll get that done in the next couple of days and, uh, we'll just have to see how that goes. Uh, a dear friend of mine died last Sunday night. I just found out about it Sunday night and, uh. So his funeral is coming up this Friday. So I will be spending some time there on Friday. Uh, we're not doing our Thanksgiving until Sunday. So hopefully Thursday uh, I will have some time to get a video up and, uh, and so on and so forth. And yes, I'm wearing my new... Batman pop t-shirt tonight. <laughs> Instead of just showing it to you, I figured I'd just wear it. Um, so anyway, that's all I have for Tony Daniels. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would appreciate it if you would click the like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate you subbing and clicking on that notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I have another video come up. So... Is there anything else I need to tell you guys tonight? <laughs> Can't really think of anything. Um, oh man, I had it right on the tip of my tongue who I was thinking about doing for next week. Uh, it was kind of a toss up. And I, I mean, I still have several on the list. So, But uh, I was thinking about doing someone... Man, I really wish I could remember who it was. I was going through the list and it's like, okay, there's that name. I think I'll I think I'll do him. <laughs> but I forgot who it was now. So anyway, I guess you'll find out next week when I do the video, huh? If I think of his name uh when I do my next video, I will I will tell you then. So everybody have a great remainder of the week. I hope you all have a great Thanksgiving. I hope you enjoy time with family and friends. And, uh, you know, hopefully you get four days off like I do. Because I'll be off Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which is awesome. And, uh, and then a month from now, we're going to have Christmas. And, you know, tomorrow, actually tomorrow is my wife's birthday. So I'm not exactly sure what we're doing tomorrow, but, but we'll be doing something for her birthday. And uh, I'll quit babbling now. I'm sorry. <laughs>
anyway everybody have a great weekend have a great night enjoy your family and friends for thanksgiving and remember to be thankful for all the things that uh, that the good lord has provided for us throughout this year and god bless everyone we'll see you all next video